psychometric chart is a graphic representation of the relationship between air temperature and humidity. It helps us to show the differences in climate data for sites around the world. It also helps us define human thermal comfort conditions. Programs like Climate Consultant 4 use it to graphically analyze hourly climate data files that you can download for thousands of different locations. Please press Tutorial to continue. Dry bulb temperature is the most common measure of temperature as measured by a thermometer with a dry bulb. On the graph, the vertical lines represent the dry bulb temperature. As you go towards the right side, it means that there is more sensible heat. As you go towards the left side, it means that there is less sensible heat. Absolute humidity is the amount of moisture in the air as measured in pounds of water per pound of dry air. It is represented by the horizontal lines on the graph. Points higher up on the graph mean that there is more moisture as compared to those on the lower part of the graph. Saturation line represents the fact that air can hold more moisture as the temperature increases and less moisture as the temperature decreases, which means that as it gets colder, moisture might be precipitated out in the form of dew, fog, rain, or snow. Relative humidity is the percentage of humidity in the air relative to the saturation line, which is the maximum that it can hold. Wet bulb temperature is the temperature as measured by a thermometer whose bulb is surrounded by a damp wick. Thus, evaporation will make it cooler than a dry bulb temperature. Dew point temperature is the temperature of an object that will cause water to precipitate out on its surface. Precipitation is the amount of water that is taken out of the air by a surface that is below the current dew point temperature. Hourly data. The recorded outdoor conditions can be plotted for every hour of the year on this chart. For example, the temperatures and humidities for one 24-hour period might look like this. We can also plot on this chart the zone in which most people would feel comfortable. In winter, when they are wearing more heavy clothes, and in summer, when they are wearing few lightweight clothes. There are four common ways that a building's HVAC system can change indoor air conditions. A furnace can increase dry bulb temperature. An air conditioner can reduce dry bulb temperature. An evaporative cooler can reduce dry bulb temperature while increasing humidity. An air conditioner can dehumidify air by cooling it below its dew point which will precipitate water out of the air, and then the air can be reheated to a comfortable dry bulb temperature, but now with a lower absolute humidity.